Hi, my name is Jonathan Dodge. I am the Principal Applications Engineer at United Silicon Carbide. And in this video, I will introduce some of the new features of version 2 of FetJet Calculator. So we'll go over uh, some of the options and quickly how to use it. As with version 1, FetJet Calculator version 2 is intended to help power designers early in the design cycle to evaluate different topologies and to choose the power devices that are most optimized and most promising for their application. There's no download or registration required as with version 1. So it's easy to use. Three basic steps. First you have uh, three groups of uh, applications to choose from. There's AC to DC, DC to DC, and DC to DC isolated. And within each of these uh, overriding groups we have several topologies to choose from. So that brings us to the second step where you simply choose a topology and uh, you can enter in the parameters which is the third step your power level voltage uh, number of legs uh, and so on depends on the topology and you'll see there are some new features added one that stands out is uh, let me get myself out of the way there is a chart showing the uh, power loss per device and then total and then also the uh, temperatures per device so starting with the heat sink and also the uh, case to sink and junction to case <clears throat> but we still have the same tables that we had before so if you want to see individual parameters listed at a table you can see that there and another thing that is new is that we've added a little table for key drive recommendations and snubber recommendations and uh, that depends on the uh, circuit and operating mode like for example um, this particular one if I change to a uh, different mode which is now soft switch uh, that table disappears because it's not applicable um, and this is another one of the features uh, the calculator now seamlessly operates in uh, hard switched or soft switch mode depending on the topology or discontinuous or continuous conduction mode and uh, takes into account any negative current in the inductor and so on so that's all part of the uh, added features in version 2 another thing that's new is that we have uh, report generation so you can click on uh, generate a PDF file and you'll see all the same things that were on the screen saved in a PDF file so that's convenient other things that are new uh, if I enter something that uh, makes no sense. Uh, there'll be an error message that pops up. Whoops, I you know, chose the wrong thing here. Let's just, or it will automatically correct for you, as in this case here. So, so there are uh, checks for uh, things that are out of bounds. Also added is if you uh, want to choose a different part number, there's a link for the part marking decoder so you can understand what all the letters and numbers mean. So uh, one more thing to show you. Um, let me go back to the AC DC. In particular we've added some features to some of the inverters. So we have H bridge for example. And then we have different modulation methods. So uh, with a little graph Okay, let me get myself out of the way here. So a little uh, graph here to show you what we're talking about in terms of uh, the control method because of course that affects the uh, power loss. So that's for uh, H-bridge, same thing for uh, two level voltage source inverter. We have discontinuous conduction mode now available. And then uh, for ANPC we have a couple of different uh, PWM strategies, and you can see uh, you're looking at the uh, control chart and the circuit diagram, you can get an idea of what is meant by that, and then the different modulation methods again. So, we hope that you find this useful and uh, sure, sure would appreciate any feedback to help make it better. And uh, hope you uh, enjoy watching. Thanks.